Welcome to Smarter You, where your friends at EECU provide tips intended to make you smarter. Today, we're going to discuss the difference between banks and credit unions so that you know for sure where to get the biggest bang for your buck. What's the difference between a credit union and a bank? At first glance, they seem the same. They're both federally insured, both have ATMs, tellers, and online banking. But when you take a closer look, the differences are clear. The biggest difference between credit unions and banks is who owns them. Credit unions don't have customers, they have members who share a common bond, such as a profession or area of residency. And as a member, you're a part owner. Every time you make a deposit, you're buying shares, which is why most credit unions have what they call share accounts. Even the directors are elected volunteers. Banks, on the other hand, are run by a board of directors who get paid more when the banks make more. Given this information, which institution do you think has your best interest in mind and which is more concerned about increasing their bottom line? Credit unions are not-for-profit organizations. What does that mean for its members? It means that all earnings are returned to them as dividends, higher interest returns, and low-rate loans, while fees are kept to a minimum. However, banks are companies run by a board of directors with large salaries that answers to big investors who expect big returns on their investments. One survives by keeping its members happy, the other survives by keeping its investors happy. According to a 2014 study by the American Customer Satisfaction Index, or ACSI, banks scored 85% in customer satisfaction, while credit unions topped the ACSI list with an 86. The difference may not seem like much, but year after year, credit unions continue to outperform their banks in customer service. Why? Personalized service. More credit union members report experiences of being greeted by friendly representatives who know them by name, as opposed to customers greeted at their banks. After all, wouldn't you want to know the names of your business partners? Being members of a not-for-profit organization, credit union members understand the value of supporting those around them. By employing members and serving the community, credit unions tend to be very involved in the interests of the community. When people step forward for the greater good, instead of for their own interests, positive change is inevitable. On the contrary, banks don't have as deep of a vested interest in the community as they are often run by a board of directors who may live in a different city or even a different state. It appears we have a clear winner. Credit unions offer the privilege of ownership, lower loan rates, higher dividends, plus they have proven customer satisfaction and are vested in the community in which they live. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Thanks for checking out Smarter You. We hope you learned something valuable. Just remember, smarter banking starts here.